Okay, in this question, the figure shows a right pyramid of square base. Suppose the length of side of square is the same as the setting height of the pyramid. A. Find the angle between DE and the face ABCD. B. Find the angle between the face E boy C and the face E dot C. As you can see, ABCD is a square. Also, the slant height of the pyramid is the same as the side of the square. That means for each lateral faces, actually, they are all equilateral triangles. Okay, E boy C is an equilateral triangle. E dot C is also an equilateral triangle. Of course, E A boy and E A dot 2. Now, we need to find out D E and the face A B C D. What are the angles between them? First of all, we find the common point of D E and A B C D. That is D. That means they intersect at point D. And next, look at point E. You need to project point E to the face ABCD, and hence the angle between the line and the face will be E, D, and the projection of E. Suppose E project to the face ABCD, called as point K, the required angle is actually K dot E. The problem is, how do we find this angle? First of all, you can use Pythagoras' theorem to find BD and then divide it by 2 to find DK. So you can find KD, that is, square root 2 over 2 times x. Of course, we didn't define what is x, so let CD be x. So the length of BD would be x squared plus x squared and then the square root, so square root 2 times x. KD will be half of boy dot, so will be square root 2 over 2 times x. And now, you can use the triangle K dot E You can apply cosine to find the angle E dot K Cosine angle E dot K would be dot K over dot E. So that is square root 2 over 2 times x over x. The factor x is cancelled. Cosine angle E dot K, that is square root 2 over 2. Hence, angle E dot K would be 45 degrees. So that's finished part A. In part B, we need to find out the angle between boy E C and dot E C. So what can we do? First of all, we find the intersecting line, that is E C. And next, on each plane, draw a line perpendicular to E C. For example, from B, we draw a line perpendicular to E C. And we call the foot of perpendicular from boy to E C would be M. Next, on another face, dot E C, we draw a line from dot to E C, which is perpendicular. Why? Because, because this is a equilateral triangle. So when B M is perpendicular to E C, also D M will also perpendicular to E C. E boy C and E dot C, they are congruent triangle and they are equilateral triangle. So, based on symmetry, BM will be perpendicular to EC, and hence DM will also be perpendicular to EC. And the required angle we need to find out is BM dot. That is the angle between two lines, two red lines. So how do we find BM? Actually, this is the height of an equilateral triangle. That's not difficult to find out. BM will be 
pc square the x square minus mc square that is 1 over 2 times x bracket square you will get square root 3 over 2 times x similarly dm will equal to bm they are both the height of an equilateral triangle so also equal to square root 3 over 2 and boy thought that is square root 2 x so you can use cosine formula to find the angle boy m dot So, using cosine formula, cosine angle BM dot will be BM square plus MD square minus BD square over 2 times BM times M dot. It seems difficult, but you can simplify the numerator and denominator, and x square will be cancelled. You will get cosine angle by M dot will be 1 over 3, negative. Okay, don't forget the negative sign. So, angle by M dot will be 109 degree, correct to 360. That's the end of the question.